My Hero Academia has been running for about 10 years now, and we're finally at the epilogue of the story. One of the biggest arcs in My Hero Academia just ended in the manga. This arc closed a good amount of storylines and had excellent character moments and great fights. There are a lot of moments that stood out to me, and today I'll be going over my favorite chapters from this arc. If you're new here, my name is Yuno, and now you know. If you enjoyed this video at any point, leaving a like would be appreciated. If you want to see more, feel free to kick back, stay a while, and hit that subscribe button. Now, on to the video. Chapter 352, Ultimate Moves. This chapter continues on with the battle of brothers, Shoto versus Toria. This chapter had a moment that was a long time coming with Shoto finally perfecting the fire and ice, surpassing the power of his father. And he found out a way to do it his own. Instead of doing it the way his father intended, having the ice stifle the heat, he uses the fire to stifle the cold, producing a cold fire. This chapter was also the introduction of Shoto's new final move, Great Glacier Ager. The art in this chapter was spectacular as well. Chapter 357, Wounded Hero, Burning Bright and True. This chapter was so raw. At this point in the story, the Todorokis were carrying the arc. Anytime Endeavor is in a fight, it's always pure gas. He truly went all out in this chapter. Losing an arm didn't even stop him from running a rampage on All For One. The fact that All For One got PTSD of All Might says a lot. This was without a doubt one of the greatest fights in the series. The chapter ends in a devastating way with All For One finding a way to implement Ares' quirk to rewind himself to his prime form. A fire chapter this was. Chapter 362, Light Phase Terrain. This chapter was a shocker. While deep in the fight with Shigaraki, Sun Eater becomes one of the most broken characters in the series, sending an insane cannon to Shigaraki. When nothing works, we see Bakugo standing up, but it wasn't the same Bakugo. This was someone completely different. We figure out he has an extension to his quirk evolution, being able to have the sweat leak out from anywhere and explode, moving fast enough to blitz Shigaraki and make him panic. The end of the chapter was what shocked me the most, Bakugo's dead body on the ground. This was something I wasn't expecting Horikoshi to do. What an incredible chapter. Also, I really like this panel. Chapter 378, the story of how we all became heroes, part four. This is without a doubt one of the best chapters of the arc. Throughout the series, we see that Deku Reason was some of the antagonists, two of them coming back in this chapter that really made it for me. You guys already know I was hype about Gentle coming back, but man, this chapter really brought back hope into the heroes winning this war. The quote, no matter how far they've fallen, each villain is still a human being, fits this chapter perfectly. Chapter 390, Shoto Todoroki Rising. The Todoroki story has been one of the best side stories in the series, and this puts a nice bow on it before the epilogue. I did like the first ending to Toyo and Shoto, however I did feel robbed because it feels like Endeavor needed that moment with his son before the conflict ends. I'm so glad we got in that. And not only that, we got the whole Todoroki family trying to stop Toya. They said during the aftermath of the previous war that Shoto was going to be the hero of the family, and he makes it just in time to stop the nuke that Dobby was becoming. I love the part where Shoto says he isn't a masterpiece creation that everyone puts on him. And if it wasn't for his family, he would not have been able to save them. One thing I was really worried about was that Toya was going to turn good after this moment. Personally, I think he's past the point of redemption. But even with him being down, him saying I hate you to everyone was great. And Endeavor confronting him, being the father that he should have been, apologizing not only to him, but the rest of his family. I love this chapter. Chapter 395, Built Upon the Joy of Others. Hori was in his bag when he was writing this chapter. I was very curious on how Toga's conclusion would be shown. This was beautifully done. 
After undoing Twice Quirk, Toga stands above a wounded Uraka, reflecting, understanding that the world she lives in is not for her. She could only live easier in a world created by the League of Villains. Toga transforms the Uraraka and gives her the rest of her blood. This hurt for me because Toga was such an innocent character born in the wrong society. But she went out on her own terms, and I gotta be happy about that. Chapter 403 The End of an Era and the Beginning. This chapter was legendary to me. All Might on the Brink of Death. All for one carrying All Might's body to Deku, just to kill him in front of him to break his spirit as the world was watching as well. The previous symbol of peace was getting destroyed in front of the world. Right when Deku thought all hope was lost, the boy, Great Explosion Murder God Dynamite comes into frame. The look that Deku and Bakugo gave each other, you just knew they were locked in. What a wonderful chapter. Chapter 417, Shimura. This chapter was certainly something that needed to happen in the series that I honestly thought was going to be brushed under the rug, but I'm so happy we got it. Nana Shimura needed to see what happened due to her actions in the past. She understands that Shigaraki is her grandson, but she never knew what her son had done to Shigaraki. This was something I never thought we was going to get, and I'm happy we did. Nana seeing how much her son resented her broke her heart, and I love seeing her run to him saying she's sorry she never made it home to him. Having that be the last moment we see Nana Shimura broke my heart, knowing that was her conclusion. But I was happy she was able to hug her son again. Fire Chapter Chapter 419, Design. This chapter was mind blowing. All for One coming back within Shigaraki. Then we get the full background of what All for One has done to Shigaraki. How he took away his original quirk. How he's friends with his parents. How Decay is overhaul stripped of his regen. When you think this couldn't get any worse, Deku is shown with both arms gone. With all hope lost, Sero, Ojiro, and Sato all show up alongside Aizawa. What a great chapter this was. And those were my favorite chapters of the My Hero Final War arc. What were some of your favorite chapters? Let me know down below. And if you want to see more My Hero Academia content, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. That way you'll know when they come out. Thank you guys for watching. And until then, you know where to find you now.